Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to add the running light cancellation feature to your car or motorcycle. You probably noticed that on the newer cars, when the turn signal is on, the running light comes uh, off, it uh, goes off uh, during that time. And that's to make sure that other drivers can see your turn signal, because the running lights usually uh, LED and uh, pretty bright. So they interfere with obviously the light coming from the turn signal. So I'm gonna show you how we can just uh, take a timer and add it to the circuit and achieve the same function. So what I have here, I have just a turn signal relay connected to the bulb and I have a, a LED light and this, uh, this light connected to the power and that will simulate our running light. So if I turn the power on, I have a turn signal uh, coming on and off and the running light just uh, on all the time so now we're gonna connect the timer so I'm gonna cut the wire uh, going to the uh, uh, running lights and I'm going to connect the timer output yellow wire to, uh, to the light I'm gonna take I'm going to take the power for the timer and then goes to the uh, power going to the running light inline connection basically and uh, black goes to the ground the blue wire is a trigger wire and it connects to the uh, positive wire going to the turn signal and the other two wires are configuration wires so the way it's gonna work we're gonna configure the timer to the uh, option 13 and uh, when the uh, uh, when the timer sees the uh, impulses uh, from the from the turn signal it's it is going to turn the uh, light off so we're going to configure the timer to option 13 trigger 2 and reverse output the way we're going to do it i'm going to disconnect the power from the from the turn signal uh, so it doesn't blink all the time just temporarily so we're going to take the white and the green wire and grounded that's a standard configuration for the timer this is how you configure the timer we're gonna ground those two wires turn the power on the light comes on for a couple of seconds so now we're ready to configure the time time needs to be configured uh, delay for about one second the time needs to be just a little bit greater than one cycle of the turn signal so we're gonna connect the white wire to the to the ground for one second and now we're going to take two uh, wires again green and white and uh, short them to the ground and that goes to the next menu which is the function and we need to now uh, configure the function so we take the white wire and touch the ground 13 times one two three eight nine ten 11 12 13 and then we're gonna take the green wire that's the trigger configure to to number two one two take two wires ground them to go to the next menu and then we use the green wire to reverse the output because we want to make sure that light actually stays up during the during the turn signal and that that is it we're gonna turn the power off and we're gonna reconnect the power to the turn signal and we're gonna turn the power on and uh, our running light is off and the turn signal is on so if we remove the power uh, from the turn signal after a period of time once it detects that there's no signal coming to the turn signal it uh, turns on if I'll supply the power the running light uh, goes off and so forth the same thing would be with the trigger if I remove the trigger wire it, uh, it can tell if the turn signal is coming on and it's uh, uh, will be on obviously but everything is connected it would be off during the turn signal and uh, on when the turn signal stops here we go thank you so much